I swear I love this mug so much. It's my Lord of the Rings mug. One mug to rule them all. One mug to find them. One mug to bring them all. And in the darkness, hype them. Because it's coffee. Hype. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know and you guys today we are going to do a Get ready with me. <laughs> I got some new things, a couple of new things, and I wanted to try them out and play with them today. One of the biggest things that I wanted to play with is this baby right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So yeah. Let's do that. I don't want this video to be too long because me and Raph are going to Can you guess? Just take a wild guess for me as to where you think we're going for lunch. I'll wait. That's right, we're going to Hibachi. Anybody? That was very loud. Anyone who guessed that, you get a virtual cookie. I'm in the weirdest mood right now because uh, I just woke up 10 minutes ago and the Hibachi place near us opens at noon and it's 10. So I'm starving and I just woke up. So I'm just like, hmm, <laughs> my brain is not working properly right now. So how is everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. For me, it's the weekend right now. Uh, it is Saturday, and but just whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day, a great weekend, a great just everything. If you worked today, I hope you had a wonderful day at work. If you were off today, I hope you had a great day off. My hair, I, okay, so listen, I actually watched Desi Perkins tutorial on how she does like her wavy braid hair. It's one of her newest videos. I have the link down below and I watched that and I was like, that's too good to be true. Like her hair is very, very nice. I was shocked by how good her hair looked and I was like, my hair's not gonna do that. This is like after three days of sleeping on it and it's still not horrible, but the first day after taking my braids out of my hair, it was so freaking cute. I loved it. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, more often because I really enjoyed it. This baby right here, this is the new Anastasia and Amrezi palette. I'm super excited about this. Look at this packaging. It is so, so pretty. They kind of glitter. It, it doesn't really get everywhere, so that is definitely a plus. If it got everywhere, then I wouldn't like the packaging. But since it seems to be pretty stable, like inside of here and it's not just flaking off I'm fine with that I have already swatched one of these shades I haven't used it on my eyes hello can we this is absolutely beautiful like this has to be one of my favorite color stories in one of these palettes like so far um, there are two pressed glitters in this palette I think it's Liddy and and Gemini those are the two pressed glitters but this shade up here Oh my gosh, that was the one that I swatched. And I did swatch the glitters as well. That Barb shade, that one's one of the prettiest shades that I've ever seen in an Anastasia palette. Congra congratulations to Amra for this palette. It's beautiful. I want my coffee to get cold, so I'm just like... <laughs> Speaking of coffee, I actually ordered some of Emma Chamberlain's coffee from her brand. And I'm super excited. I have watched a couple of reviews and they say that it's all pretty good and I really enjoy coffee, but I'm not, I've never really had cold brew. And that's what her coffee is. So I'm excited to see what I think about it. So I'm gonna do a very, very simple eye today just because I'm going on to hibachi, but Lord knows every time I say simple, it turns into something crazy. So I'm gonna go into the shade right here. It is called OG right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop that in the crease. So, so yes, like I said, me and Raph are going to Hibachi today. I'm so excited. I've been like craving it for a few weeks. I am literally so excited about it. And then, a funny story. Uh, me and Raph, you know on my last Get Ready With Me, I was saying that me and Raph were going to this card shop. Yeah, we did, or this board game shop. We didn't actually end up going <laughs> I genuinely thought that we were going to. We were talking about it all morning, but then we decided to stay home and play our own board games. <laughs> this shade is beautiful. It blended out so well. I love this shade. Very pretty. But today we are going to this board game shop. I'm really excited because uh, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, to see the board games, of course. Number two, I really am trying to get Raph into Magic the Gathering. Listen, I know a lot of people that maybe watch makeup stuff are not into video games or card games or anything like that. I genuinely apologize. It's like a very big passion of mine. I really do love a good video game and like 
card game. We are going over there today for sure, for sure, because the new set from Magic released on the 24th of January. So it should be out in that store now. And I really wanted to play. I really wanted to play. He's, he likes uh, like physical cards more than cards online because he likes to look at the art and I agree, I understand. Oh my gosh, and there's this pet shop that is right next to it where they have more like exotic breeds. When it comes to like, okay, listen, story time. I, me and uh, Raph went to Target a few days ago. There was this girl in the line at, we had, there's a Pizza Hut inside of our Target, like a little kiosk. It's not like an actual restaurant or anything, but it's like a little kiosk thingy where you can get like little mini pizzas and stuff like that. And then there's this girl with this puppy. She was the cutest little girl. Oh my gosh. She was literally so adorable. And the girl, she had to be probably my age, maybe a little younger and she was like do you know of anyone that might want him and I was like um <clears throat> me I don't know if I don't know if me and Raph are ready for a doggo just yet but you do not understand the willpower that I had to muster in order to not take that dog home with me and now literally all that I've been looking at on Instagram and stuff are dogs <laughs> I'm gonna go into a deeper shade now I'm gonna go into the shade 1988 and then just deepen up the outer corners ever so slightly but there is this pet store store <laughs> there's this pet store near the card shop that we're going to and it has like exotic kind of pets like they have sugar gliders and stuff like that they have but they also have really adorable doggos and kitties and kitties we we're me and him are both dog people and cat people he likes cats a little bit more than dogs i love both i'm down with both the only reason i'm not 100 percent a cat person or a dog person is because i'm allergic to both of them so that's real sad and it makes me so so sad because i just want every every single animal's love and affection and i want to cuddle every single animal and like give them snuggles and give them love but i can't breathe afterwards but i feel like i just want to go to this store just to have some love and to give uh, a little animal some love uh i don't care what if it's a girl or a boy honestly i think i need i'm gonna do more, like more research on like the different mannerisms of female dogs and male dogs i know that before you can get them spayed or neutered i think they have to go through one or two like seasons of heat or something like that and i don't know which one is more loud or messy i don't know so we're kind of looking in to that because I genuinely have no idea. If you know anything about that, please leave it in the comments because I will 100% read it and I'm very interested. But they have these, the dog that I kind of want right now. I love big dogs. The big dogs are some of my favorites. I love all dogs equally, to be real, but like I really, really, really love big dogs. And I know for the apartment that me and Raph have right now, a big dog probably would not be the best option because I want to make sure the dog has enough space to run and it has enough space and I don't feel like this apartment right now would give that dog enough space to do what it needs to do. So I think a smaller dog right now in our life would be the best option. And at this place they have these, oh gosh, they're like Yorkie poodle mixes and then they have labradoodles <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want all of you so bad long story short i want a dog <laughs> i'm gonna go into the shade barb you guys knew i was gonna like i have to like oh hello oh my gosh it's oh, oh my god okay i didn't mean to get that much but you know what i'll use it it's fine it's fine literally one of the prettiest shades in an anastasia palette i've ever seen like this feels like a pat mcgrath shadow hello Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I don't know if this is meant to be a topper shade or uh, I don't care. I'm just using it all over the lid. <laughs> mm -mm. It does give a lot of fallout though, this shade, but I, I'm not very surprised. This, I could have very, I could really imagine this giving a lot of fallout, but it's really fine. And that's the eye right there. That's what we're doing because it's, I literally love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like, Anastasia, can you come out with Barb, like, by itself, like, in a single, I don't, I don't do you guys do single shadows? I'm not, I'm not sure. But if you end up ever doing single shadows, please bring out Barb as a single because I would buy 20. 
Oh my gosh, I love this shade so much. I'm going to blend out the um, edges a little bit more. This is what's going to happen on the eyes today. This is pretty much it. So maybe what I have actually could have done, I probably didn't even need to go in with the deeper shade. I could have just used the OG shade and then just put Barb on top. That would have worked just as fine as well and would have been a little more natural everyday kind of is this every day? I don't know. I would wear it every day. And then, remember last time I forgot to use this? We're using it today, by golly. <laughs> and this is the Farsali Liquid Glass Primer. But as I was saying, and then downstairs uh, at the same store, the exotic pet store, they have kitties. They have little kitties and they have like a chinchilla. They, uh, they used to have, I think they used to have a fox, like a white fox, not an arctic fox, but like a white kind of baby, like a fennec fox. I don't remember, but I think it was the owner's fox. It wasn't like for sale. One of the cutest things and it made the cutest little ah! People say, what does the fox say? Like, they, they bark and they make really cute noises that kind of seem like uh, like chirps and barks and stuff. It's really adorable. And then they have sugar gliders, like I said, down there. The kitties. Oh my gosh, I love cats. I am very allergic to cats. I am more allergic to cats than I am dogs, I think. I don't know. I really wish I wasn't because I love cats so much. But I, I do think that I'm allergic to cats more than I am dogs. But I'm not sure which part of the cat that I'm allergic to. I don't know if I'm allergic to their saliva or to their undercoat. I don't know. Apparently there is a difference. So like if you're allergic to a cat's undercoat, then you can still have a cat that doesn't have an undercoat. If you're allergic to cat saliva, then you're kind of just like, Neh kind of have to deal with the allergies if you want to have a kitty. But there are like hypoallergenic cats, but I don't know of very many. I know that the Bengal cat is hypoallergenic, but it is an exotic breed and I know they are very expensive. And to get one of those, I do think you have to go to a breeder and buy them. And then, oh my gosh, I saw on TikTok, there's this girl that has ragdolls, like ragdoll cats. Oh, they are so beautiful. They're so pretty and I think a rag doll would be totally up my alley because I really want a cat that that wants to be like, played with now wants attention. I do like cats like that because I want to cuddle with them. <laughs> I get lonely and want them to be with me, you know? Th this girl, she has like two or three ragdoll cats and she was doing like question and answer about how the breed is and all that and I was like, oh, these seem like the perfect guineas for me. So definitely keep my eyes out for one of those. They do not have an undercoat. So if you are allergic to an undercoat, you're fine. At one point I want to get like, a cat and a dog that really get along well. Like I'm kind of like, that does kind of worry me because I want to make sure like my pets get along, you know? And I don't want anything to happen to where they just like hate each other. That would be awful. So like I want to get like a like a cat or a dog that's more like even tempered, mild man. Hello? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how long that's been out of focus for. But like I said, I would prefer to get a cat that's or just an animal in general that's more uh, mild mannered, just in case we ever get another animal and the dog slash cat's not like. Hey! Then like, I don't know, maybe the other dog or cat might like that. I have no idea. Some bronzer. I'm gonna go on with the butter bronzer today. If you guys have pets, I don't care what they are. Like if you have reptiles, amphibians, dogs, cats, birds, oh, birdies, oh my goodness. Like I would so be excited to have a bird. I know that birds are a huge commitment. I don't know if I would ever do this, just, I don't know. But like, I've seen some videos of uh, people that have toucans. They sound, not sound, but they seem so cool. But I know, like you have to know that is a huge commitment. <laughs> but maybe like a little bird. Because apparently the white birds, are they cockatoos? The white ones, like the big white birds with the mohawk, you see them quite a lot. Apparently they're very aggressive. I've heard that from a few people online that they're very, very aggressive and that they're just not the best kind of bird to have unless you really know your stuff and like how to 
you know, take care of them and train them and all that. African greys, I would die to have an African grey, but then again, I've heard that they are a lot of work. So, we'll see about the bird later on, maybe sometime in the far future. I really do love birds. Um, I know Jaden Animations, one of her little birdies, her little Ari, I think they would be adorable. Definitely, I could, I think I could handle one of those. Birdies are really cute, but the only reason that I wouldn't get a bird is just, not right now anyways, just because they're so loud. Obviously, I know cats and dogs can definitely be loud as well, but the dog doesn't need a huge cage. And the thing is, is that like if I get an animal, I'm going to get them like the ample amount of room like for their species or whatever even a little bit more if that doesn't stress them out i know sometimes snakes if you get them too big of an enclosure when they're small it can really stress them out but like for a bird if it doesn't freak them out to have more space you're getting more space my dude <laughs> because i want to make sure that you're good i don't really have anywhere to put that right now so for a for like a little doggo i think this would be like it would be perfect also this could be a very unpopular opinion but i also love snakes i think they are so beautiful i'm very burpy today i don't know why but the different morphs they're so pretty I love them. I've had a few friends that have had snakes in the past and they've all just been so lovely. I've only been bitten once, but it was my fault because I was feeding the snake and he was still hungry after that. And then I stuck my hand inside of his little thing and he grabbed my finger. Uh, he was still hungry. So I was like, oh, so that was totally my fault because the snake was still in uh, feeding mode, but he didn't hold on. He just bit and let go because he realized that I wasn't food. So. Not a, not a problem at all. I forgot highlighter. <laughs> I got the Melt Cosmetics highlighter. This stuff is so beautiful, I really love it. Oh baby, I wanna get with you and take your picture. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera really quick and then I'll come right back and I'm back. Uh, brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the uh, Amory <laughs> the Amrezy palette and do my bottom lash line really quick. I am literally starving, so I'm gonna make this fast. So nothing super crazy on the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna go back into a little bit of OG and run that. And then I'm gonna go into a little bit of that 1988, that deeper brown, and then just put it on the outer part. There we go, and then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Anastasia. Very cute, and this is this beautiful kind of pinky shimmer right there. And I'm gonna go in with that. Let me swatch it for you here so you can see it. Oh, beautiful. It's like, it's literally the same shade as the Barb, but I think, or not lit not exactly the same, but it's almost the same shade as Barb, except in more of a like metallic shimmer formula instead of it being this loose kind of almost glitter topper. Okay, I'm gonna do some setting spray. And we are pretty much done. Oh, I have to do my lashes. I have to do my, yeah. And then for lashes today, I'm gonna use my Lancome Monster Big Mascara. This stuff is really, like this mascara has really become one of my faves. It's such a good mascara. Look at that! Oh my gosh, it's such a good mascara. Oh my goodness. Okay, lashes are done. The last thing that we're going to do are lips. And I got these two little guys. So this one is one of the Kylie lip liners. I've been really needing to get into lip liners, you guys. I've kind of discovered that lining your lips is actually quite important to make sure that your lipstick isn't go everywhere. <laughs> so I actually got this in a, as a little sample because when I ordered this from Ulta, I got this little guy as a sample and then I tried it on last night when I had no makeup on just for fun and I really like the color so we're gonna use it today. Uh, this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. So, and this uh, lip liner is in the shade Coconut. So we're gonna go ahead and line the lips and then use that lipstick. And you guys, this is the completed look for uh, today <laughs> for the Get Ready With Me. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. I'm absolutely obsessed. I think this one has become one of my new favorites. I love the Jackie Aina palette. Th this one and the Jackie Aina palette are my two favorite Anastasia palettes to date. This is beautiful. I love this. The shades blended really well. The Barb shade. <laughs> 
literally chef's kiss hit it out of the park like done deal like I again I would buy 20 of these if they were singles I love them to bits the lip liner is good I do like the lip liner I'm not very versed when it comes to lip liners <laughs> at all um, and then this liquid lip I freaking love it I love the brown I don't really wear very many brown lips so uh, I really like it so I'm happy but yeah you guys that's gonna be the end of the video today I really hope that you did enjoy it if you did then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to if you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them click the little bell down at the bottom there again my name is Kinsey I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video bye bye